What is up, YouTube? So, after I sold the WRX, I was trying to find another car that was fun to play around with. Um, this actually is faster than a SI. It is a 2004 Acura RSX Type S. I told myself if I ever got one of these things, because I've always liked them. Never thought I'd actually get one until now. But I got one and told myself I would have to get a Type S just because it's a six-speed manual and it has the HO VTEC in it, which I freaking love and it's a really fun car. So it's frozen right now, but let's go check it out. These are not my plates, by the way, but and it looks bad because it's frozen. So this is the front of what the car looks like. And then this is the side view of the car. I'll show you the interior in a second. And then come and wrap around the back and it's cold as nuts out here too. Come out here, there's the back. The, uh, there's the Type S right there. Now, let me grab my keys out. I think we have a little key fob with it. So, you come into here. So, the seat does have a rip, but I'm actually going to reupholster both seats. Not that the passenger one needs it, I just might do maybe a different style of leather or whatever. Um, so this is the steering wheel. I'm gonna do some interior work for sure. Um, I actually got my old lanyard and my WX shift knob in here because it's the same shift pattern as a, uh, as like the Type S shifter that they have in here as well. And then the, the back seats are actually super clean and everything too. So I'm very, very happy with the car and gets pretty good gas mileage too. So I just got to go to the B&V and then get a temp tag for it because my birthday is next month and it'd be pointless to pay double for that. So just get a temp tag after my birthday, then get a uh, actual plates for it and then get the title switched over my name. So let's go do that. Yeah, so that just happened. I uh, I was having a little too much fun. <laughs> oh man, he uh, he clocked me going 104 and a 65. Yeah, that can be fun. I mean, he's a cool guy and he seems really nice. So I don't know what he's gonna do. He said he'll be back with me in just a second there. So. We, uh, we shall see. All right, there's registration. Thank you, Make sir. Make sure you get your tags on. Yeah, absolutely. I have the temp uh, tag right yeah, here. I'd... I didn't have a screwdriver with me. What's that? I didn't have a screwdriver with me okay. to do it. I just got done at the BMB right now. I was headed right home. Okay. So, Here's your driver's license. Thank you. Here's your citation for the speed. Okay. The 13th is a court date if you want to go contest it. Can I do it online? If not, there's a, you can pay online. Okay. Just, I forgot to mark that part here. You can pay online here, and here's the phone number for it. All right. So, that happened. Where can I prop this guy up? I'll just leave it right here for right now. Taking off the other license plate, I have a 10 and 12 millimeter. It's probably a 10. Um, oh, maybe not. Or 12. And it's not a 12 either. Uh, this is working out really well. Maybe it is a 10. I just didn't do it right. Oh yeah, it is a 10. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's going 104 in in a 65. So. That uh, so that went super well. Cop, he see it, it's funny because like there's never any cops ever on 270, like literally ever. And, like that's the last place on planet Earth I would like ever expect to be like pulled over. And 
it was it was Columbus Cop. It wasn't like Westerville or anything like that, which was kind of nice. So Westerville goes hard. So yeah, so pretty much he pulled me over. Nice guy, cool guy. He wasn't like out to like wreck my life or anything like a lot of officers like to do for some reason because in their position they feel like if all the power in the world nothing ever ever can be said to them so a little injustice but that's whatever i mean you know that's it's that's just how the world works you know there's sin and corruption and a whole bunch of other shit so you can't really do anything about it really so but i just got this plate off let me put on the temp tag and then i'll talk in just a second it's well not funny but it's it's weird because like I I can't find my carbon fiber license plate cover that I have. It's what I put on the WRX. I didn't leave it on the WRX because I took the plates with me. Or the plate. I only had one plate on the car. In Ohio, they don't require you to have a front and back license plate, which is nice. They used to, but they don't anymore. So they just, I think people were like starting to get annoyed with it. So I think they just passed a law like, hey, you know what, since I guess people are complaining or maybe it's just car guys or whatever, I don't know. Um, they decided to just kind of waive that and just make it not a thing. So which just fine, I don't really, I don't really care that much. Either way, car always looks better with out of front license plate to begin with, so. The temp tags always look really weird. Like, when you first, like, oh, that's kind of convenient. Oh, it does work, cool. It's kind of, it looks kind of gross, the temp tag, but I mean, with this black card, it actually doesn't look that bad. So, I just realized I need this screwdriver, so let me grab that real quick. Yep, stay, please, there we go. All right, so, this, yeah, it's the right size. So, I had plans for the car, so I had a bunch of plans for the WRX, and I didn't have money for it. Now they sold the WRX, so I actually have money to do stuff, and this Type S is going to be my daily, and it's going to be a fun daily, and I just always like these cars, and I'm, I've am i always been a huge Honda guy, Honda Acura, just overall, just love the Japanese cultures, Japanese cars, and it fell, of course. So, and it's going to fall again, and it's going to fucking fall again. Jesus Christ, there. So if it falls again, like it's about to now, I'm just gonna end the clip and then say something later. But, so, this is a little stubborn bolt. And it fell, fuck. All right, let's try and set up in the shop. Not really, it's just my garage. So, Couple plans I have for the car itself. I ordered a few things for it already on Amazon. So a few things I ordered for it was so the Integra Type R and the RSX Type S. It's literally the same thing. So I ordered a. So I ordered a. A type r badge for the back of it because it looks more aggressive um i ordered the dohc vtec stickers for the side of it because it has it has the same engine as a eighth generation honda civic si but it's i believe it's tuned up a little bit more than the SI itself, because it, I've driven SIs before, and it feels faster than an SI. Um, and I have raced SIs, not in the Type S, but I've raced SIs in like my Subaru, my Miata, and the Miata, the Miata is pretty much just as fast as an SI, I would say. Um, it's faster than an FRS. Cause my buddy has one, and we raced and. I beat him. Um, he said he had a hard time keeping up because that thing's just so light. It's literally just a slingshot. And so I got that for it. Those two things. I got the Type R uh, logo 
got the VTEC decals to throw on the side of the car. I, what else did I order? Oh, I'm actually gonna custom make my own shift bag for the car. So I might go to Hobby Lobby and try and get some material for that. Kind of do like a DIY type of thing with it. I already replaced the shift knob in it already with the one that was in my WRX. And then I put my lanyard that was in the WRX in the Type S as well. So that, it felt like I was driving my WRX a little bit, like with like just the shifter handle. It was a little sad but it was good at the same time. Good to be debt free. Try not to get in debt as much as you can. Um, I mean, if you're like 20, 50, 100 bucks, like in debt, like whatever, you can just pay that back. like when you get your paycheck, but like when you're tens of thousand dollars in debt, that's when you need to just like get, get rid of it. Do anything possible to get rid of it as quick as you can. Cause it, it really sucks and it limits you financially. So what else did I order for the thing? Um, let's see, Type R decal, VTEC decal. Oh, I ordered some JDM, like Japanese, like logos. I'll show you when they get in the mail. I'm still waiting on my tripod to get here and ordered another shirt for the gym just because I can get free shipping if I ordered something else. It's that's how Amazon will get you. Oh, order up to $25 of stuff. So you get free shipping, which I always do for the most part. If I have nothing else to get, I won't. But there's always something you can get on Amazon. It's very addicting to just browse on it. So I'm waiting on those two things to come in the mail. And hoping they'll be here soon. I have a couple clients today. One I'll be working out with over <clears throat> at Planet, and then the other one I'm going to his and her apartment complexes, and then I'm working out with my buddy Eric, and we're going to film around 8 o'clock, or at least that's the plan. Things could change, you just never know. If that's the case, then I'll just be going in solo. But to say none the least, I can't remember what else I got for the car, or what I have really else plan for the day i don't think i have anything to be honest i think that's it yeah okay if there's anything else i'll pull the camera back up and let you guys know so all right so i got this thing popped off right here uh, i got some secret stuff in here that i won't show just yet i'm gonna see how far i can get with getting this whole thing off um well i can just pull it out right now um once i get this guy off I am gonna see how well I can do this thing when it comes to doing my little DIY makeshift bag here. So let's try this out. Uh, let me set the camera up right here. Don't need this because I'm not driving. So, boom, taking that out and off. Uh, I don't know if that's actually gonna fit because I have this little uh, this little so this is my weighted shifter right here um, there I had this in the Subaru as you guys know and I put this now in the Acura this is also a six speed and then I needed a millimeter replacement for it because it was too too thin for the actual shift knob itself so this guy was stuck on my Subaru so my dad and I had to take pliers and wind it off that way kind of wrecked it slightly but not too bad and at this point regardless of my strong grip I think that's just on there really tight so let me go get a pair of pliers and see what I can do very thankful for the window tint that the guy already put on this car, which is really nice. So I got a couple tools here with me, just seeing what is going to fit and what is not. Wow, we don't even have a winner here? Actually, we might. No, we don't. I'd probably have to get a 16 for that. But I can also try this. Let's see if this works. No, that's just going to tear it apart. That's really disappointing. Okay, well, let's reset and try a different set of tools. 
All right, now I'm back with a different set of tools. Okay, this is a freaking 18. This, of course, I don't have a, I don't have a 16 or nothing like that. So that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Come on, if I had like a 17, it'd be perfect. But I don't. Ooh, actually, maybe. Ooh, I think I might have figured something out. Give me a second. Go with a little persistence and really going in with my grip. Finally got this little bugger off. And the help of the 15 millimeter. So I'm going to take this guy off right here. Boom, just like that. That's what the inside of the shifter cable box looks like so this is actually really interesting i've never done this before in my life so this will be kind of fun and exciting to do something like this so let me see where i can go with this i'm not going to show you the secret stuff just yet so stay tuned all right so just got everything put back in here with a little help from my sister so we uh the leather boot is still underneath this we just kind of shoved it through like the little side cracks and whatnot over here so popped it back in place got this like golden bronze type of string to kind of tie it down together and kind of hold it there um cut the hole perfectly for uh the attachment but it doesn't attach to this because it's not the stock shifter which is okay so i do think the red and this white with the bronze string actually looks really good with each other so excuse the trash <laughs> 